Alright, so yesterday I recorded a video about um, a celebrity friend of mine, actually. I, I've seen her in person one time, and um, we're Facebook friends, uh, who is helping out at the Polish-Ukrainian border. And I pointed out how um, at 42 years old she's still single, and um, I pointed out how singles have lives too, right? A lot of people forget that. I, I can't tell you how many times I've been at a workplace where I'm one of the few single people there, and I get all the odd hours, right? Even right now, I'm working at a tutoring center, and I have one colleague who's younger than me and still living with her family, and I, I have one who's almost semi-retired, right? And um, th everybody recognizes that, you know, the I think the girl I'm working with, she's 19 years old, and how she likes to spend time with her parents and the semi-retired guy everybody recognizes that he needs to go home with his wife and i get all the odd hours right i had to work through the winter breaks i had to work through uh you know oh my god you can't let a 19 year old drive in the winter weather right uh and uh, meanwhile i'm battling through that which which i don't mind but i wish it would reciprocate when there's something else that i want right um for example, the 19-year-old, she probably doesn't have to deal with a whole lot of uh, life issues, right? So, for example, right now, I'm, this is a rental car that I'm recording it in. My car's in the shop, and I have to juggle that with going to the office, right? I wish it would reciprocate the other way around, too. I have a radical idea. We like to talk about family leave and all that and maternity leave. What about if singles could get double the vacation time as couples. Here's why. I think it would be nice if some people who are not so happily single could go out and meet their partner, right? If you care about maternity leave, what about pre-maternity leave, right? Before you meet that person or pre-family leave, right? And then there are people like myself and like Evelina Falenta who are happily single, who would love to uh, care for our communities like how, like how she's doing at the Ukrainian border. I'm recording this in the United States. We actually don't have any laws regarding uh, vacation time or even paid maternity leave. But if you uh, own a business, you, you have control of this matter. There's nothing stopping you from giving singles double the vacation time. Give it a try and see how it goes, right? Now, I want to clarify something. Yesterday, I blasted about how I was pressured to give some of my vacation time to a colleague so she could get paid while taking care of what had happened was I had a colleague who um, her sister had COVID-19 and she wanted to take care of her niece during that time. Now, am I angry at her? No! I'm angry at the system for for, for, for requiring such for it to work out, right? In, in, in an ideal world, she should take care of her niece and I should go to uh, I, I wish I could jump on a plane and fly to Ukraine and see what's going on over there, right? We should have it both ways, right? Why, do, why does one have to come at the expense of the other, right? In an ideal world, if I had double the vacation time, I'd love to give some of them to her to take care of her niece. And then I would love to go to Ukraine to take care of the issues over there. And then I would love to compete at the Computer Olympia. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more or less solo sexual, but I love to, to, to connect with people too, right? I'd love to... I'd love to make a few new friends too, right? Why, why does one have to come at the... And plus, when I'm doing all that, my job performance usually does a whole lot better too, right? It's not one at the expense of the other, right? It's it's synergy between all the aspects of life, right? So no, I, I, I love giving my vacation type to her. I hate the system of it. I thought I would clarify that. Thanks for watching.